Всем привет, ladies and gentlemen. Добро пожаловать to a very fun and interesting friendly match. As we may know, and if some of you don't know yet, at the moment it is the period of international football. So all the players who are selected by their nation are on international duty. And for, for those who who are not selected by, by their nation, they are mostly playing uh, friendly matches and keeping keeping themselves in shape. So, with that being said, Zenit St. Petersburg played against FC Khairat, which is, you know, a very fun club to play against. You know, we always have much fun when you play against them. Not in a, in a degrading way, but in a way where it's generally very fun to play and it's always a delight even though it's not serious matches we still play football we still have fun so uh, i don't have much to say on today's match since it was purely fun it was purely to keep ourselves in shape and just have a good a scrimmage a good match of football so the first thing i do want to talk about it was really fun to see that on each side uh, so kairat had a russian legend former footballer Arsen Arshavin, who is an absolute legend of Russian football, has played some big matches for some big clubs in Europe. I think he played for Arsenal as well. He is a legend. Every Russian fan respects Arshavin. And on our side, we had our assistant uh, manager, um, Timo Shuk, who is a former international player for Ukraine, but also... Uh, has played for uh, for Russian football clubs for a long time, for, for many years, even way before the war. But internationally, he represents Ukraine. So, as we may know, a lot of people have strong dislikes for Tsimoshuk because he's managing with Zinyet, a Russian football club and he's living in Russia and also has has married a beautiful Russian woman so obviously Ukrainians they hate it uh, they have strong dislikes for him since many Ukrainians they they hate Russians it's unfortunate but this is what it is but we we love uh Dimushuk, he he's a fantastic man. He's a fantastic player. He he used to be, and we have the greatest respect for him. So, on both sides, we had some good good legends. So it was gonna be a fun match. So the the final score was four three for Zinyet, but it it was a very good match. Both clubs scored some big goals, and honestly, no addition to add. Uh, I'm not gonna take any much longer. Just wanted to say that it was it was really fun to watch. It was a good match. It was a lot of fun, and I was really happy to see Arshavin back on the pitch alongside Timoshuk. I also wanted to make an extra comment as well, not related to today's match, more towards a personal side. It was really sad, to be honest, to see. Uh, Sergeyev not with Zinyet anymore. I already made a video, but I didn't make a, a personal video like talking about his impact on the team, on the club. And it, it's just really sad to see him go. He's such a good player. He's still a wonderful player. And uh, it just really sucks. It's the same, the same feeling that I had when Malcolm left. Same impact Ivan Sergeyev has had on Zinyet. And I know he didn't start his career with Zinyet, but, I, but he became an instant... A legend at our club. He scored like you know four or five goals per matches at times. It was, it was insane to watch him. It was the same type of production with, like Malcolm had with us. So I'm I'm really sad. I think I, I understand why the management would do it. I still believe that it's a big mistake by us. He's still a fantastic player. Imagine if we had him with Sabaliev and uh, you know Glushenkov, Kassiera and the rest it could have been special but at the same time we do need some space and there's also a lot there's also a lot of hatred for her, for Sabaliev I am a big fan of him he's such a good player and I like him but I understand why I mean he is still a traitor he still um had a bad um relationship with Spartak Moscow before he left and I understand why a lot of fans have hatred. Plus, also Zinyet fans 
also have hatred for for Sabaliev because of of his past actions and um, there has been some controversy around him. I mean, I can go on and on and make a whole different video, so I don't want to talk too much about that. But the most important thing for me is that he is a fantastic player on the pitch, and he's he's gonna add a big, big gameplay to to Zinyad, and he will definitely be a strong addition. He will definitely make a big impact. So that is the most important part for me. I know I still believe that he's a traitor. I agree that he's a traitor. I don't have love for for traitors. So for me, it also as well, it's a very a love and hate relationship. I like the player. I like what he does on the pitch, but I don't like him as a personal man. I don't like uh, his values and traditions and the fact that he's a traitor, that he has done some snake moves. Um, but the most important thing is, he he performs first that he he scores a lot of goals and we need to dominate and just forget what he has done outside but you know like like i said more of a love and hate relationship uh not more than that and just just you know see him as a football player i know he his his father hasn't been too kind to, to Zinjata and he has made some bad remarks for us um but we're gonna we're gonna just gonna use him that's our part. We're just going to use him as a foot football player and use his, his foot football abilities and skills. And that's pretty much it. We, we don't have to love him. We just have to uh, see his relationship with us as a more of a professional matter. We just don't have to love him. That's it. So Slava, Slava, Zinyet, Spasiba for, for watching my video. I wish you all a good night. Take care, everybody. Das Vidanya.